Hey guys, welcome back to Stardew Valley, continuing from where we left off yesterday. We have all of our fruit available. If you remember yesterday, we left off in the mines. Uh, we decided to come back and... I th no, I think we, I think we, yeah, we, we were uh, no, we didn't leave off in the mines. We left off with, uh, completing a bundle and getting the bridge repaired. So now we can go to the quarry. Now, when I first, uh, played Stardew Valley, I, I, I got lucky enough to get the prismatic shard over there. And, uh, the next time I decided to do a farm, I wasn't as lucky in getting a prismatic shard that time. So, let's get all this. So, let's see. We don't really re need to re all this because we won't have time to, you know, takes about, I think, six seven, eight days for these to grow because it's the 25th. You know, we won't have time to grow any more. Let me check my letters again. Uh, Feast of the Winter Star. Your secret friend, Jess. Uh, let's see... Um, secret fan. Who's my secret friend? It's not, it doesn't tell me. Secret friend dot dot dot. So it's gotta be one of these. Hmm. I have no clue what to get them. Well, since I have no clue what to get them, I, I think I'll just have to skip. Well, no, I think we'll still have to go to the Feast of the Winter Star because we get a, we will get a Christmas present. So, let me do a little quick calculation, right quick. So, see how many winter seeds I need to make to refill this. So we have four, eight, twelve sprinklers times eight. So. 12 times 8 would be, whoops, that's 112. 12 times 8 equals 96. So, we'll make about a, we'll make a, about a hundred winter seeds. Alrighty. Deposit those in there for next winter. And we'll sell everything else. I feel bad for, you know, whoever our secret Santa is. Because <laughs> we don't know who it is. It's one of these four people. It's gotta be. So, uh, 
Maru or the little girl. Abigail. Where's the little girl at? We have nothing to give, so I don't know. Well, I suppose we'll just leave. You know, because we 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 have nothing we have nothing to give. Because we don't know, you know, what we what she likes. Because of that, we we don't know. We don't like I said. I, we don't, we don't want to give her something that may take away hearts. Although she doesn't have any hearts anyway. Just get rid of that. So. The last few days let's see let's check our luck neutral think we'll go around see what we can forage and sell it and uh, and already got that so just chuck it don't need it no point in selling it it doesn't sell for a, a, probably a penny we don't need to do any collecting of ooh. always like seeing her because you never know what she's gonna have Community center. Don't think I need a. Oh, I do need sturgeon. Nice. So that'll be lake fish complete. <laughs> we go over to here. Chef's bundle. Fiddlehead fern. So buy the sturgeon. Buy the fiddlehead fern. Excellent. That's one bundle complete. More winter roots, some holly. Over here, we'll collect some hardwood. I think so. You get a. I th you want to come down here? You know, when you get your axe upgraded to steel, every you want to come down here every day and collect, you know, hardwood. That way you're, that way uh, you have a nice collection of hardwood. Uh oh. Battery is getting low, so we'll plug that up soon. Oh, leave me alone. I don't need a friend right now. Even though it basically was Christmas yesterday. I'm not here looking for friends. I'm just here looking for four jewels. I don't need any... I've got plenty of friends, thank you. Sweet to offer, though. And besides, you're too goopy. I prefer people that are, I prefer things that are human. So we'll do a quick 
circle around the lake. See if there's anything else we can dig up. So, I didn't really have, you know, I don't really have much to talk about with, like, what's going on in my life. Because, you know, I'm not all that of an interesting person. Yeah, you know, I don't really like to get out and do much in the way of, like, you know, socialize, socialize or whatnot. So, I mean, I, I do have, a, I do have a lot of friends. But, you know, I'm not one to... I'm not a very social person. And I won't, you know, be like, Hey, let's go see blah 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 and just hang out and have a good time. You know, just... Not a lot of stuff that interests me besides, you know, just... Sitting here and playing my game. Now, if you... If you when it comes to conversa conversation about, like, other stuff... And whatnot. I just I don't I don't really like to get into it because yeah, you know, like especially if it comes to uh, like talk about like politics or whatnot or stuff like that. To me, that's just you know that's just boring. It's like, ugh, do I really have to sit here and listen to you talk politics? No. I'm going to most likely put my headphones on and open my open fo my phone up and sit back and watch some of my favorite YouTube videos cuz I don't want to sit here and listen to this. You know how it is if people start talking like politics or something like that. Those discussions, you know, will get pretty heated and I I just don't do I just don't do that. It's like, hey, you want to talk about, you know, like, you know, some a video game that you just got and started playing, and like, uh, do you recommend? It's like, do you recommend any good games or something like that? Or it's like, what about a game you want to try and you know stuff like that? Now I'll talk about I'll talk about that stuff all day, but you can't get me to talk about you know politics. Ooh, a lot of coal over here. A lot of four jewels today. Make a little bit of money. But yeah. And when it comes to talking about that stuff, I just don't talk about it. Now, uh... Now, or if it's like, you want to talk about like, you know... Favorite moments from like a certain anime or TV show. You know, I'll I'll talk I'll talk about that too. I was like, uh, you know, I, like uh, like most people, I suggest it's like, hey, if you if you like a show like that, you'll like this show. Go watch it. But uh, yeah, talk talk about yeah, animes, like old cartoons. You speaking of old cartoons, like. Who agrees with me that, you know, the new versions of old cartoons they came out with suck? You know, they're just not good. They, I feel like, I feel like they're making fun of these old classic great shows. Like, this new one, that new one called Thundercats Roar, Teen Titans Go, the new Looney Tunes show. Those, those, don't even, get, don't get me, don't get me started on them, like, they, I just feel like those shows are just completely and utterly making fun of, of like, the old Thundercats and whatnot. And I just, I just downright, I just downright hate them. And, and it's like, oh, you you haven't watched you haven't watched a 
Uh, you haven't really given them a chance and watched them. They're actually pretty good and pretty funny. Oh, believe me, I I throw I give when a new show like that comes on. Believe me, I give it a nice thorough chance. You know, I don't I don't draw I don't draw a conclusion like an episode or two in. I'll, I'll watch like I'll watch like 20, 25, 20, 25 episodes depending on how many there is in a season. Believe me, I'll watch a good bit of it. You know, because I like I like to make sure if it, yeah, when I say something sucks, you know, I'm gonna make sure you know after a thorough analysis that it sucks. And after a thorough analysis of Thundercats, Roar, Teen Titans Go, Looney Tunes Show, they suck. It's like you know if you if you if you say they're good. And you watch the original? What is wrong with you? They're not good. They suck. They thoroughly suck. It's like, and you will not change my opinion. It's like, it's like the saying go, it's like the saying about opinions go. Opinions are like buttholes. Everyone has one. Why don't we, uh, well, it's going to be too late to take these to Gunther's house. Or the museum. So we won't be able to do that today. Instead, we'll just take this Sturgeon and Fiddlehead Fern to the community center. And complete a bundle. But, yeah. Now, uh, that's, that's just what I say about, uh, these remakes of these once great shows. They're not good. You know? It's like, and you will not be able to convince me, oh, they, they are actually are pretty good. You know, when I, when I, when I, when I, when I find that I don't like something... Yeah, you're not really gonna change my mind on oh, it's actually good and <laughs> I, I, I won't change my opinion. It's like I'll be like no, but no, it's no. You, you, you keep, You'll keep trying to tell me it's good and I'll be like no and no and You'll be just be like Trying to stay and I'll just keep interrupting with no 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 Because you know how it is when somebody is like that. You know when they're stand when they stand really firm like that. You know no matter how many times you try to ask or change their mind, they're gonna be like, no, no, it's not good, no. Yeah, that that's that's how I am when I feel about you know Thundercats roar and all that. Plus, it really, it, I wish I could, it makes me want to, it would make me want to go to these guys who made this show and be like, what is wrong with you? Why did you do that to this great, to a great show? This is, it's like, this is completely and utterly stupid. And you're stupid for making it like this. You know? <laughs> It just really makes you, it just makes you want to just, you know. It just makes you want to find the creator of the show and be like, what is wrong with you? Why did you do this to a great show? But it's funny. You don't take, you don't take a good show that had, you know, that had some great mo that had great moments in it and turn it into a, something stupid. Especially with like Thundercats. 
Now, when I, when I talk about Thundercats, and when I talk about the old Thundercats, I mean like the first one. Thundercats War isn't like, uh... Thundercats War is like the second re remake of uh, Thundercats. They did do they did do a remake of Thundercats, and that one was good. If you if you if you seen that if you seen that Thundercats, you'll know what I'm talking. You'll know the one I'm talking about. If you hadn't, you, uh, you should check it out because it, it was a it was a pretty it was a pretty good Thundercats. It had quite a good it had quite some good action in it. Like uh, they did do a remake of they did do a remake of Voltron, where uh, they were like training some kids to be their replacements. And one kid was like gonna be taking over for the black lion. One kid was gonna be taking over for the green lion. And uh, the third kid was like, I think the cousin of the princess of and uh, she was training to take control of the blue lion. So, and yeah, that that Vol that Voltron was pretty good. I really liked that one. So, and back to what I said, the uh, kid that takes over for the green uh, that's uh, like training to be uh, the Green Lion pilot. Uh, he. He's like some, he's like, he was like part of his like descendant. He was like descendant of some like ancient race that helped create Voltron. And, uh, he had this power to like, he had the power, he, he like, le he le learns he had this power to like influence Voltron and gave Voltron the ability to interchange the bodies. So that like, Red, blue, yellow, green, they could become the body. Like... And each, each lion that became the body had its own unique weapon. Let's process these geodes. See what kind of stuff we get. So, yeah, I think I've talked about Voltron before. Uh, the new Voltron compared to the old one. I think I've talked about it before, but I don't remember. It was probably a little while. It was probably a while ago. But if, if I did, sorry for repeating the story. If I didn't, if I didn't, then I liked it because if the red line became the body, it got like. A dual, it became like a dual wielding pistol user. Black still had the blazing sword. If it was, uh, blue took over, it got like a, tri it could use a trident or a, a bow. Yellow, uh, became the body. It got like spiked chain maces. Green took over and it got like this ninja star shield. And uh, that was down, that, that, it was just downright awesome to be able to see the body be changed out. Because yeah, it, it gave Voltron a whole new set of abilities. Which, which is cool. And I, and I like when they do that with a new, sh with a new, with a the, like the a reboot of an old show like Voltron, Thunder, and especially the reboot with Thundercats, because it's been a while since I've watched since I watched the uh, that reboot of Thundercats. So 
I can't really tell you anything about it, but you should be sure to check it out. But, uh, yeah. Go to bed. See what kind of chunk of change we get, and we will, I believe we will end off there. Small change. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, guys, I think that'll about do it for this episode. Thank y'all for joining me. Please be sure to leave a like and comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all next time. Goodbye.